but yeah, there are these uh, primary color red, green, and blue shards. Is okay. Yeah, you can't fast travel when there are enemies around. I I have always hated that. Like, when will it be enough? When will there be a a travel that is fast enough that it can be kind of instantaneous, kind of like Dragon Ball, where like even if somebody's there, who cares? You can go for like for like 50, 100, 2,000 miles uh, across the field, across the world or whatever, because you're just like that fast. Just like how phone plans, and I honestly don't know how they got away with calling unlimited data plans unlimited if it really wasn't unlimited. Uh, like that's really kind of false advertising and they should have gotten in trouble over that but they just kind of didn't because nobody wanted to press that <laughs> it's kind of like how even though even like uh what is it grand theft is when somebody steals something that is over a hundred dollars and you tell the cops that somebody stole your game console and they tell you it's just a game console because like uh they're inhuman and they don't know what things mean to people yeah the way that the world is supposed to work and then the way that it does work it's like <laughs> In a skyscraper, it's like the difference between the ground floor and the 30th floor. It's, you know. But yeah, in these, it's a lot easier to throw your Pokemon out and then catch after the fact. Because uh, usually, normally, out in the field, you can just... You can just throw Pokeballs uh, any which way, but because they're kind of popping in and out of time, it's kind of hard to surprise them, so it really doesn't matter in the first place. Great, and it happened again. So, you know what? I'm just not going to care and I'm going to see if any different Pokemon show up at all because usually it's I haven't seen Ghastly yet by the way or or uh, that happens all the time and I and I keep oh yeah you right I haven't shown that yet but I I can I can evolve actually all of these huh cool you can choose when to evolve your Pokemon, which I think is really kind of nice. Especially because uh, how Wurmple can evolve into either Silcoon or Cascoon. If you need one or the other, you can rest until daylight or nighttime and just kind of do it in bulk all at once. And it doesn't have to be right away. Like, if it if it did it the way that it always has, where it just kind of does evolutions automatically and surprise you, then if it's at the wrong time of day, then, uh, I don't know, it would take more time away from you. I really wish that I could speed this up though because with how much you have to do this there needs to be a skip option. If they're going to update Ar Arceus, if they're going to add DLC, update it, whatever, they need to add a skip evolution option because you're going to end up having to do this thousands of times, if not tens of thousands. <laughs> Right. Uh, I just ate, but I have been talking forever, and, uh, yeah, usually it will be Ursaring, Leafeon, Haunter, 
Lickiton and uh, Lickiton's evolution, but sometimes, depending on where it is in the map, you will get like one or two other rare things. Uh, I know that I saw... Or wait, no, actually I didn't because I, I remember saving right before a space-time distortion that was up here, but I don't think I actually roamed around in it. Um, the, the saving is weird. Like, you're supposed to... Like, if you save it right at a distortion and then you come back, it's not there, but it's supposed to be there because that's where you saved it. Um... I've heard to fix that, that you need to turn auto-saving off, but I'm not sure. You know what? Just because I want to test that out. Okay, and now I can't get any... Actually, you know what? Maybe I can get this a little early. Uh... Because I know sometime later on you're supposed to be able to get water ride Pokemon, but but I always kind of want to... Okay, let's see if that's possible. Please don't move. It might actually be far enough away, like if you're this far away, even if you hit something, it will say like it won't bring you into the event whatever this is fine I'm getting tired of talking anyway so I want to the distortion faded that's great that's amazing I'm gonna go to the next map and not really do anything special but just kind of run around yeah that's right I didn't catch and even if you defeat Pokemon, it doesn't matter. The survey reports all just care about how many Pokemon you catch, and I think... And you can take your time reporting it to the professor, and uh, the most that you can catch it once before it stops caring is like... 30 Pokemon in one report or something because I remember that I spent a whole night doing stuff and I got 70 Pokemon and it really did not care about that much <sighs> so <coughs> ow ow right the Crimson Mirelands. <sighs> oh wait, is that actually a Ghastly? It is! Awesome! That's amazing! So, now that I know that, I can... Oh yeah, that's right, I uh... Ah! Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about. You uh... <laughs> you fall in the water and that's just kinda it for you. <laughs> Like, what is this, um, the first Assassin's Creed trying to teach people that apparently you can't, apparently people in the 1100s couldn't swim. So it's telling me to go there, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. I just want to give myself a little preview of the area before I have to give the game back to my nephew. That is... Wait. Oh, for a second I thought it was Graveler, but it's actually... Uh... Tangrowth, if I want to remember right. And that's Carnivine. I know because I, I fought it once. I... Okay, so Swamp Area, what's this? Ah, what's, what's this I said? I can't zoom in on it. Oh yeah, that's right, because I'm riding around. I, you know, just like how in Zelda where you can ride on the horse and shoot your bow and arrow, you should be able to ride on the Pokemon and do stuff. So I, I take it back 
this this is actually really very cool. Ah, Hippopotus. Nice. Awesome. The potate. <laughs> um it brings me back to the first Spyro with uh, the Beast Keeper's homeworld, actually. That... That is something I still want to do. I still want to do Spyro, but because I know it, what more could I say about it? I feel like it's easier to record things if I haven't done them, because then you get authentic reactions, you know? And if I was going to do Spyro in the first place, I would do it. <laughs> I would do it! I would go all the way! Um, I would do the original PlayStation 1 versions because when they remastered both Crash and Spyro, the and they redid the voice acting they kind of took all of the emotion out of it like like i feel like the 90s and 2000s were the last decades where people actually felt things like in a like they were capable of being dramatic and cinematic and making things feel suspenseful and kind of kind of being a little over the top yes but at least they weren't just kind of dead inside you know like you play the crash and spyro remasters and it's like it it's kind of like how much of a letdown kingdom hearts 3 was where where uh, Lord Xehanort was, he used to be like, darkness lies within every heart, but in three, it was just like, hey, what's up guys, uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about evil or whatever, cool, <laughs> like, that is one of those major things that is definitely on the list of if I went back in time what I would fix I would show the creators of Kingdom Hearts 3 the game and then like earlier like a lot of years before it actually came out and show them how much is wrong with it and but also like get them get them to have Leonard Nimoy to to do the role like have the proper voice actor do the role like Rutger Hauer didn't even try to sound like Xehanort he messed it up seemingly on purpose like didn't didn't even try and then he had the gall to die afterwards and just kind of leave us with a uh, terrible product uh, like that is one of the reasons that I hate like what happened to the game cuz um, what is it and and it's it's happened before too right where where they have gone in after the fact and and changed the voice for certain characters like like the ghost in the first destiny I think by the time it got to the first or second DLC, they changed the actor. I don't remember if it's because it was a controversial actor or because they didn't want to do the role anymore and they just wanted the voice to be all the same just for continuity's sake, which I respect because that is a... Like, I hate when, I've always hated when actors change, 
like when they do movies and they do a sequel uh what it the one of the first times that I noticed that was The Prince and Me with Julia Stiles and then they did a second one with this ditzy blonde that didn't even act the same way didn't didn't carry the same air that the that the other actress had at all um Oh jeez, what is uh what is Julia Stiles doing nowadays? Oh yeah, have you have you noticed that like sometimes actors kind of seem like the the old ones from the other generations like aren't dead, but in a sense it seems like like a reincarnation of the other actor or I guess in another way you could say a spiritual successor. Like I feel like Emma Stone is the new Drew Barrymore, and uh, Jennifer Lawrence is the new Julia Stiles. I and uh, I used to notice that all the time, cause like when you're a kid and you don't have that much to do, you kind of just make up things to be interested in. Like when it gets to 12:34 on a clock, or like. 11-11. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot I could do this. I was told that big boulders with cracks in them, you can split. Why is there not a bridge across this river? This is like the last area I need to go. Why is the... The music is getting a little jazzy. I like that. I... Should I risk it? I mean, I may as well just to see. Ah, uh, it wouldn't let me get up the thing, and then. I'm just trying to get all of the, all of the uh, sub regions of the map named, so that when I look things up, it's easier to tell like what's going on later. Oh, right, and it does... <sighs> yeah, you can... When... It's one of those games where if you die, you can... You leave some of your items. Yeah, when... <sighs> nope, that's not the one I want. When you die, you leave some of your items in a satchel. And one of the online connectivity things is... You pick up their satchel and it sends their items back to them you get a little bit of a reward and merit points and then there's somebody in town that you can go to and that's how you get all of the special evolution items like the stones and how they said that you how they said that you couldn't trade with people online even though I there's the same person that you talk to for merit points the same person that you talk to for merit points there is an option to trade with people online so I don't know who to believe <laughs> really Oh, what's this, actually? Is this a Pokemon, or... No, it's just... Oh, wait, no. I... You don't have space in your satchel for that item. I... Well, I need it for a request. Can I just, like, carry it in my mouth or something? I mean, I do that... Like, I do that all the time when I... Yes, I do want to return to the village. I do that all the time when I'm trying to carry too much at once. Sometimes I'll just have, like, my phone in my mouth or something, because why not, right? <laughs> it's just another placeholder. <laughs> okay, can I... is it... I'm so close. Because everything costs, like, a thousand, and... 
Oh, that's right. You can't ride Pokemon in town because you are... So... Sorry for being a little bit lost. I I was going to say that it is a it brings up sorry. It brings up some plot holes, but also it brings up the possibility of like if people like this as much as I do and as much as I have been hearing from other people that they like Legends Arceus, maybe they can do other Pokemon Legends games in other regions, which honestly I think would be kind of nice because it changes Pokemon not really a super amount, but it changes it just enough to make it feel fresh and new and exciting. Uh, yeah, I, I started out with that idea talking about plot holes. Like, you're supposedly creating the first Pokedex in the Sinnoh region that's not even the Sinnoh region yet. I There are three other regions that I have heard about that are already well established so do they just like not care about Pokemon or researching them categorizing them organizing everything or uh, like what's all with that I wonder uh, what was I even gonna do in the village oh yeah that's right item storage technically I could have done that back at the camp but I completely spaced that out that doesn't matter anyway because I have gone through all of the all of the area of the map that I can access anyway I hope that we get a like a water ride Pokemon soon that I can or maybe I'll get it later in the game, I don't know. I will figure that out when I get access to this again. Trying to make sure that I don't put things away that I actually need, but also it doesn't really matter. I can just do everything and then I can find the Pokeballs, Potions, and Revives, which is all that I carry anyway. All this extra stuff, it's like, it's nice to have to know that I have it, but also <laughs> it doesn't really matter as much as I, as I want it to. But, um, I don't know. I don't know. I think I have... I think I've showed off what I can. Right? Oh, that's right. There was something else that I was going to show. Just because it's... It's crazy. It's a little bit wild. One of the requests is a one of the request is to get to this Mr. Mime that's infiltrated the village it's doing the whole stuck in a box thing which like you know is just acting or is it cuz i can't actually get to i i can't actually get to them <laughs> I just find that so great that like I I I can't remember uh what every pokemon is what types they have there are more than 900 pokemon and they have changed the types as the generations have gone along ooh another wisp yeah, I don't know what's going on with that, like if a ghost Pokemon or whatever is leaving Wisp around, but like, you capture these little flames. Oh, okay, so it's just easy like that, I can just sneak up behind them and... Right. 
<laughs> oh, that was so cute. It just like blip. And it did a little smile. It ran off that way. Oh, I have to find it again? Or it wouldn't run unless it had something to hide. Now we've really got to find out what it's up to. <laughs> Chase the fleeing Mr. Mime. I don't really want to do that, though. I have been talking quite a bit. The cleaning never stops around here. Well, you know, you could stop. I mean, you're just taking a broom to to dirt. <laughs> <laughs> like, was there really not enough to do back then? Like, you have... Oh, yeah, that's right. Everybody's afraid of Pokemon. That's why I don't remember if I finished that thought earlier. I always kind of do that. I have tried it to make it better, but when I have a whole bunch to say, I just kind of... I start on a thought, and then I stop halfway through, and I feel like I've finished it, but then I, I look back at it, and I... No. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I can't ride my Pokemon in the village, unfortunately, because nobody knows what Pokemon are actually like. They are afraid of them. <laughs> yeah, this, this super huge Rapidash that's at, uh, right. I can't, and you have to talk to the people to be able to fast travel. You can't just look at the map and do it, which really kind of sucks. But anyways, that Alpha Rapidash is over here. But everything looks really great to me. But and and it looks it looks great when it's in the village, when it's in the pasture. But you should see it. Actually, you know what? That's gonna be the that's gonna be the last thing. Yep, I have decided. Uh, heading outside the village, are we? Yes, we are. To the Fieldlands camp. <laughs> so, apparently, the last 20 minutes of what I have said have not shown up. This is a little reminder for myself that, uh... <laughs> apparently, when you're recording uh, through the camera, it also stops out at an hour, which is weird because Share Factory projects are supposed to last like up to 80 minutes, and I still had 13 minutes left on the clock, but <laughs> it's fine. I don't remember all of what I said, I have repeated a lot of things anyway. I do remember that the next thing was going to show you how blocky and polygonal the Alpha Rapidash looks out in the field, but when I got to it, it didn't. So that's fine anyway. I hope that this little test of recording things in a somewhat non-conventional, technically poor way. <laughs> the the poor man's workaround, just pointing a camera at the TV and hoping that it works. Uh, I hope that it did work. Um, even if I have to cut a lot of this out, this feels like a success. My throat is very sore because I have been talking for an hour straight. But I have had a lot of fun. I have had a lot of fun. I hope that I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope that you like, comment, and subscribe and have a good rest of your day. Uh, if you liked this and you want me to do more Nintendo Switch stuff, or maybe do Oblivion with this. I have, <laughs> I have honestly no idea how well that would work with the TV volume, but I will just figure that out next time, like I did this time. Cause I feel like it's a little bit easier with Nintendo stuff because even though technology has gotten better. Nintendo seems to have always kind of been more like a family oriented thing so I don't want to say it's like they don't try but you s I haven't seen talking in 
Nintendo games that often, like much more than uh, Mario stuff where Peach would be like, oh, Mario, and like, that's it. Like small voice clips. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know why they don't allow more. Oh yeah, that's right. I th Was that one of the things that it didn't end up recording talking about? Yeah, cause I was talking about Pokemon gotta catch them all was like the first catchphrase and I thought how well that fit together and how DLC is a thing practically with every game it's common practice now that there is no excuse for there not to be every single Pokemon and I was comparing backwards compatibility with the PlayStation 2 being able to play PlayStation 1 games that it kind of set a precedent for people to be upset with when the PS3 didn't allow backwards compatibility and the same thing with Gen 2 Pokemon where you could go once you finished uh like gold and silver and crystal I guess was of the original uh, uh, part of that generation once you finish those games you could go back to Kanto the region from the first generation of Pokemon and I thought that was really neat and then the third one didn't have it I really loved uh, Sapphire I really did love Sapphire. It was until I went to Pokemon Sword. It was my favorite of all time Pokemon game. Uh, I loved it, but I have been wanting a multi-region Pokemon since then, and I feel like through the use of DLC that and the fact that you can add space through micro SDs and uh, what was it? The last time that I looked at SanDisk micro SDs, a one terabyte, which is way, 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 way more than enough, by the way, uh, for Nintendo, because Nintendo games are like small space things. They always kind of have been. And that's one of the things that I love about it. But like a one terabyte micro SD card would be like, uh, like a hundred dollars the 60 gigabyte one that I have been using for uh, as of April it would be like a full year <laughs> um, that was only like 20 or 30 dollars which is awesome and definitely more than enough space for like 20 games which just crisp nice you know uh, yeah like all 900 Pokemon and there there needs to be a multi-region Pokemon and again you know I don't remember if I touched on all of the things that I want that I want to figure out in in Arceus if if you're working for the bad guys because you're working for Team Galaxy now which I still find hilarious. <laughs> if, uh... I don't know. A whole bunch of stuff. I I'm really tired. I'm really tired. I've said a lot. I'm gonna look over the video again. <laughs> yeah, I, I said what feels like a million years ago. <laughs> to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope that you have a good day. I have tried to end this video or maybe if I cut up this like this like small group of videos until I until I borrow Arceus back from my nephew if I want to do another video of this again I I tried to end it and then I found something else that I wanted to talk about and it's it's just been good it's been a good fun week um but yeah, now that I am giving it back, I I should have 
I should have my time freed up to get back into a more regular schedule and pump out my Amnesia and Dark Souls videos again, or, um... If I get bored of those, I kind of want to switch that up with Undertale and and Hollow Knight. I need to I need to download Hollow Knight. Uh, I should have enough space. I I know that the more that you download, the less that the console wants to work. But I will figure out a way and get back to you if you want me to try this. I've said this like three or four different times now. You know what? Um, pretend that I ended this video well. Pretend that I know what I'm doing, just like I do. Just like I pretend. <laughs> I'm great at pretending. We all wear a mask. <laughs> it's been good. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>